All right, now we are on to actual multiplication of decimals. And we're going to start off where we multiply a decimal by a whole number. Okay, so I have this problem, 9 and 8 tenths times 2. I'm going to show you a little trick here. Let's imagine that we're not dealing with decimals at all, and we're just doing 98 times 2. Let's do the problem. 2 times 8 is 16. I carry that 1 from the tens place up above the 9. 9 times 2 is 18, plus that 1 that we carried over is 19. So we get a, an answer of 196. Now let's flip back to the original problem. We have one digit behind the decimal, that 8. So in our answer, we need one digit. So I'm just going to find, start to the right, and move one digit to the left, and put my decimal there. That's the only other, the only different step when you're multiplying by decimal. All right, so do the problem like normal. And then at the last thing, count the digits behind the decimal and make sure your answer, your product matches that. So let's look at the next one. We have 67 hundredths times eight. Let's imagine that it's 67 times eight. Seven times eight is 56. We put down that six and we carry the five above the six. Then we do six times eight is 48 plus five is 53. So our answer is 536. Now, we go to the top. We count our digits behind the decimal. In this problem, we have two. We have the six and the seven. Therefore, in our answer, we need two. So let's start to the right and work left two spots. So start behind the six. One, two. So we put our decimal between the five and the three. So our answer is five and 36 hundredths. For our third and final example, we're going to look at something that looks a little bit different. 88 times one and eight tenths. Now right away, you may say, well, why aren't we hanging? Why aren't we lining up our decimals or lining up the, the place values? You don't need to here because we're going to treat it like 88 times 18. So again, forget about the decimal. It's not there right now. 88 times 18. First thing we need, to, we need to start on the bottom with our ones, that eight. Eight times eight is 64. We put down that four and we carry the six above the eight and the tenth, tens place. Eight times eight again is 64 plus six is 70. So our first partial product is 704. Now, very important step. Remember MoMA, multiply, drop the zero, multiply and add. So this is the O in MoMA. We must drop that zero, drop the zero, because we're not multiplying by one, we're actually multiplying by 10. So now we do one times eight and one times eight, which is going to give us 88. So that's our second partial product is 880. So now we add our two partial products, 704 plus 880. We're gonna get 1,584. We're not done, we need that last step. Let's go back to the original problem and count how many digits are behind that decimal. There is none in the top number, but there is one eight behind the decimal. Therefore, our answer must have one digit behind the decimal. We start to the right, move left one, and put it between that eight and four. So now our actual product is 158 and four tenths. And that's the simple way to multiply decimals by a whole number.